I know it's pretty shocking, but we're gonna replace the bunks on this Nitro Z9. is pretty simple the tools you're going to need are a tape measure you're gonna need a staple gun with staples about a half inch stainless steel you're gonna need your drill bit set and your drill whatever brand preference you want um, I'm going to use an impact for these uh, lag bolts uh, just makes the job a lot easier uh, and then lag bolts what are lag bolts these are lag bolts now these are 3 8 by uh, inch and a half lag bolts and these are going to secure the uh, new bunks to the trailer. So make sure when you're in your process of uh, measuring your boards, also figure out how many lag bolts you're going to need and get a couple extra. I am also going to put a washer on mine before I put it in there. So along with that, just need some sort of a box cutter. And then we should be able to go to the lake. Let's put them in. All right, so as we're going through here, these bunks are bad. You feel these and they're zip ties, mechanic special. I mean, you'll see this. This is not even connected in here. It's only being held by the carpet. So we are just gonna replace all of these. You're just gonna determine if it's a two by four or a two by six. Majority of them are two by fours, especially for fishing boats, which is what we're doing. I'm just gonna measure the length, get something somewhat similar within an inch or so. So after measuring them with the carpet, I'm not gonna tell you guys how to do it, how pretty much the end product you're going to want is it for it to be wrapped around yay big. And then you're going to staple the sides with that. As you see here, we're drilling pilot holes before we put in the lag bolts. So you want the pilot hole, if you don't know how to drill one, there's plenty of videos on YouTube, but you wanna drill a pilot hole because you don't wanna crack the wood. So as you can see here, the bit I'm using is just a little smaller than the threads. So essentially you can see those threads back there, but you can't see the, the inner part. So I'm just drilling up about inch, inch and a half to get this to seat. So we'll start with the uh, bottom part, and we'll come up to the top, and then we'll set the rest of them. All right guys, this is the finished product. And you'll see, these bunks look so much better. Granted, the tough bunks or the other bunk options that are out there may be better, but this cost us uh, right around 100 bucks right now in our current wonderful times we are in uh, with lumber prices, but you'll see that uh, it works out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like anything Fishing Tractors Auto 2A or Freedom, check us out at realamericanoutdoors.com. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and uh, please check out the American Fishing Challenge on tourneyx.com.